We were off to Kyoto today. Just hopped on the JR train, bullet train to Kyoto that'll take like 15 minutes. So if you are doing the train and you have big luggage with you, you either go into the trains like by default where it's not assigned seating, but Marco and I have elected to go with the green cars where you do have reserved seating, a bit more room, and then you can also select for oversized luggage. So our suitcases are just behind us. Otherwise, your suitcases need to go on the top. So this is the same seat that we had for our train from Tokyo to Osaka, which took about three hours. Welcome to the Kyoto vlog. I'll see you guys there. Bye. Matcha. Mmm. Babe, this is good. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Not too sweet. Nice. Walking in, we removed our shoes, and then inside we have some welcome snacks and treats. TV over here. I believe you can also order room service if you wanted to eat. Got a little seating area over here. This is where we changed into our robes, just left our stuff here. Little vanity. Toilet is over there. And then this is the private onsen that we have all to ourselves. We have these little showers to just rinse ourselves before we get into the onsen. And then we also have a steam oh, shower. And then just a lounge area over here. And then back into the room. so beautiful ignore this we have to organize and unpack i'm assuming the toilet is in there another beautiful shower 
and tub combo. Got our double vanity over here. And then the bedroom with a view. King size bed, desk, TV, bar area, and the hallway with our luggage. Going to get settled in and I will see you guys for dinner. No idea what's going on with my hair, but this is the outfit for today. Wearing this Aritzia blazer, this dress from Dish, wearing sneakers, and the trio. It's actually the start of Golden Week today, which is a national holiday week in Japan. So a lot of the stalls are closed, but a couple of places are still open. So we're gonna wander around, see what food we can find, and then probably going to go for some ramen for dinner tonight because of the rain. So very excited because we haven't had ramen yet on this trip. Mm -hmm. Your allergies? Hold on. The cute Arabica that they have. It's so small. We got there maybe around like 9.15 and we were the 10th order. And then literally after that, it was so packed. So highly recommend going early if you can. We're now walking towards the bamboo forest entrance. So that's our plan for the day. And then we'll probably wander around this area before our next stop.
good? Two o'clock. We were out around nine, I want to say. But we got to Arabica around like 9.15 and they open at nine. By the time we finished wandering around the Arashiyama area and we went back to Arabica, the line was so long. So definitely recommend going there as early as possible to beat the crowds and get photos if that's what you're looking to do. We had our coffee and then we wandered the area went to the bamboo forest and then we grabbed some street food which was really really good i really enjoyed those rice balls and it was paired really well with the short rib that marco got there's tons of street food and i think we had a good call today and heading out there while it was still a bit drizzly because by the time we actually got there it wasn't raining anymore so the weather held up really well so it was very humid and by the time we were all done my hair had like expanded I actually just went through my hair again with the Dyson before starting to film, but got some cute souvenirs because they have a little Miffy bakery. I forgot what this is, but I just basically got a bunch of pastries. And when Mark and I were in Osaka, we got those Danish hearts and they actually have these Danish loaves with Miffy on them from the Miffy shop. I got some souvenirs, some presents for family and friends, and I got this for my little giveaway that I'm going to be doing. A little Miffy in a kimono, so cute. Keychains, also very cute. And then for Marco's nieces and nephew, we got them personalized chopsticks that are like kid sizes, and it's so cute. Took about half an hour. Um, on our ticket, we were number two. So again, if you want to get ahead of the crowd, get there early. Uh, they did it very quickly. Uh, so what we did is we stopped by the store and then we headed into the bamboo forest. And then on the way out, we picked them up. So here's one and the names are on both of them. So it's just so cute. And Marco and I definitely want to get our own chopsticks personalized as well. So great souvenir idea. Literally everything in Japan is just so cute and I've just been loving like all of these things. So now I am going to just charge up for a bit. Marco is taking a little nap and then we are going to head back out. So far the Kyoto Prefecture is probably my favorite just because I love how old this town is so probably would have done an extra night um i think tomorrow we're going to venture out to nara park but we'll see what we get up to tomorrow is our last full day here but we are taking a late train back to tokyo on tuesday so we have a bit of time that morning as well but yeah really love it here and that's all for now i'll see you guys later
ありがとうございます。Hanamikoji Street, which is a historic street. You're not allowed to photograph the private streets in this area. And this is also the only spot where I've actually seen a geisha. And I looked it up and it's important that when you, if you are photographing them, to do it like from a distance from the side or behind, so never facing like the front of them. Um, just out of respect so yeah we just took a little detour but we're back en route to, to ramen mm. you want extra oh, do I want garlic so you don't want anything extra Save my egg in there yeah, yeah. boiled egg Hello everyone, we are finally back at the hotel. We ended up getting Ichiran for dinner. Super fast actually, wasn't that long because the initial ramen spot that we wanted to go to ran out of soup for the night and their wait list was closed. We were able to find out that Ichiran was like a three minute walk. And I think it took maybe about like 40 minutes total for us to get our soup. I mean like from when we were lining up ordering and then when we sat it's now 8 45 so we probably finished in like maybe 20 minutes and then walked a little bit and then got in a cab and now we're home and happy to get in early so that i can do a bit of work and some editing but what i love about the hotel is that they leave presents like every single time when we got back earlier they had this matcha lip balm like on my bedside table that beautiful green color I'm actually gonna put this on. We ended up back in Gion, just wandered around, 
Didn't get a chance to do the kimonos today just because it was running a little bit late, but I think we'll probably maybe get to that tomorrow. If not, I'm not pressed about it. It's not like one of the top things on my list. I just thought it'd be cute to take some photos and explore Kyoto in it. So I think we're gonna aim for Nara Park tomorrow morning and then do a little afternoon break. And I actually enjoyed being there around four in the afternoon when it's not so hot. It actually was really nice walking around. Then everything started closing around six o'clock and the streets kind of started to clear and empty. And I think there is a kimono shop that closed at seven. So I think that's a good amount of time for us to, you know, just run around and take some photos. Enjoyed a lot of the street food today. So Mark and I were very happy about literally everything that we tried. And I think for each city, we've definitely had like some favorites in terms of food. Kyoto has definitely been like above and beyond like what I expected it to be. I'm loving it here so much. So definitely recommend this place. I think I'm probably taking like the most photos in Kyoto. Um, tonight, my little treat before bed is, it's just like a confectionery thing. It says, an echo of the seasons, the elegant refinement of Japan. After a day spent in ancient capital, the sweetness of Kyoto and a tranquil evening. <laughs> half you can actually remove if you just want the top part decided to wear the dangly ones today just so that they're a little bit you know more pizzazzy <laughs> are so polite well most of them some of them are very aggressive about wanting a cookie from you but it's so cute the way they just bow for their treats so we're walking in the park a little bit more just to see if we can get away from the initial crowd but definitely recommend checking out Nara Park while you're in Japan. Oh, doesn't show but my nerves are inside out is because you're not worth less than perfection Thought it was in my pants now
I completely forgot about the fresh mochi stand that's here in Nara Park and luckily we walked down the street where it was right in front of it right when the show was starting so I was able to get that footage. I grabbed one fresh one, so good, grabbed a couple more to go, it's delicious. Strawberries. I finally found it. I finally found a thing for Wade. Which one is it? Just that. They're all put pouches. I want to know what this train is. How we get that? For Nara, what the heck? It's going to Nara. Why didn't we take this one? Aoniyoshi. Okay, there is a much nicer train option called the Sightseeing Limited Express. Get this one because that's the one I wish we booked. morning out and about where we went to Nara Park and then we came back and then we ate and then did a little bit of shopping so I'm gonna do my little oh, afternoon hauls. I was thinking about what we did and I was just like because I couldn't remember the specific name of the neighborhood that we were in. Um, I grabbed little things for my little pasalubong giveaway. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab something from each city that we've been in. So this is just like a little coin pouch. Yeah, I just, everything is just so cute. I also grabbed stickers for our luggages from Nara Park, which is just like a little caution uh, sticker. I grabbed a little deer for me and my management team. Everyone's getting cute things as souvenirs from this trip. Marco and I also got these summer kimonos. So this is Marco's, this is mine. And then I also found a shop that does silk kimonos. So I picked one up for me and my mom. Uh, this is the one I got. My shopping list for this trip was not anything designer really. I just wanted like cool stuff like this that obviously is very Japanese. Marco and I still need to grab our own personalized chopsticks. But I think that one we're gonna do in Tokyo. I don't really wanna open them because they're so nicely folded, but this is the pattern that I got for me. It's very light and faint. Actually, I'll open mine. So pretty. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, and I also grabbed some of that fresh mochi to go. 
So I'm gonna eat one of these and I'm gonna edit. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. We found a rental spot for a kimono. We're gonna be returning this tomorrow, but these outfits are so beautiful. The girl was so fast putting them on. So she dressed both Marco and I. I am now going to remove this and uh, change back into my clothes, but it's so beautiful and you're able to just pick out whichever one you're feeling. It's called Mimosa. And then we dealt with Toshiki and they were so fast. So we were able to just quickly change and then we wandered around the Gion district. It actually worked out because it was raining. So I feel like the area actually cleared up a bit and the place was actually so nice after the rain for photos. Yeah, it was a fun experience. Didn't you have fun? Yeah, it was cool. You want to order in? drinks allowed once you get inside that gate so when you see all the street food be sure to eat it before or wait until you come back out before you grab all the stuff it smells so good mm -hmm. 